Here is a demo video for you on interlock bind off. This is the bind off edge right here. I wanted to just show you how nice and tidy it is. I also wanted to show you that it perfectly matches the cast on edge if you use the German twisted cast on or the single strand version of that, which is the double twist cast on. Um, this particular pair of gloves, I actually worked in opposite directions. <laughs> so if you, cause why not, you know? Uh, so if you look at the top edge here, can you tell which is the bind off and which is the cast on? This one is the cast on, this one is the bind off. And on the other edge, they also look very similar. They're both nicely corrugated. If I hadn't told you, it would have really not been at all obvious that it wasn't exactly the same. And it's nice to have a bind off that matches on both ends. So that is one of the reasons why I love it so much. I'm gonna start off by showing you how you start the round. Uh, when, um, when you are transitioning from working the stitches to binding them off, there's just this one little thing that you do. I wanna point out that this bind off yarn has been integrated into the working yarn so that it, the contrast will make the structure more evident. So before you start your actual bind off, you're gonna go through the first stitch from back to front, and then you're gonna go through the previous stitch from front to back. This looks like two stitches, but it's only because I have woven the bind off yarn through. All right, now I'm going to demonstrate how to do interlock bind off over stockinette. This is a lot like grafting, so you may recognize some of these movements. Go through the first stitch as if to knit and slip it off the needle. Second stitch as if to purl and leave it on the needle. Now here is the primary place where interlock differs from Elizabeth Zimmerman's sew and bind off, is that you don't actually pull this yarn all the way through. We're gonna leave a little loop here and see how the yarn is emerging from back to front. We're gonna go through this loop from front to back. And then we're gonna snug. So Elizabeth Zimmerman's sewn by Dub has you going through the stitches that are already on the needle and interlock bind off has you going through the bind off yarn itself. And that is the reason why it's a little bit less bulky. Okay, let's continue with this. This is the same series of movements all the way through. First stitch, slip off, second stitch, leave on. Now pull this not quite all the way and then go through. There's a faster way to do that that I'll show you now. Through the first stitch, take off, first, second stitch, leave on. And then before I even pull it all the way, I just dip it under this yarn like so from front to back. And then when I pull it, it's already through that loop. What you'll find is that you settle into a rhythm. It's always the same three movements. You go in, slip off, in, leave on, through, and then through. I guess that's four, <laughs> but you see my point. And see how when I put the needle through both of them, it is following the path of the, the yarn, just like as if I were doing duplicate stitch, which is very closely related to grafting. Now I will demonstrate how to do interlock bind off over knit one purl one rib. Uh, this is my favorite way to do it. I think it really sings over this particular stitch. The thing to remember about this bind off is that it's worked over the first two stitches, not just the first one, but it totally depends on what the next two stitches are on the needle. And working a knit and then a purl is different from working a purl and then a knit. So right now we have a knit and a purl on next up. So we're gonna go through the first, both of them as if to knit, but we're gonna slip the first one off. So knit, slip off, knit, leave on. And because your yarn is now emerging through the back, 
we're gonna pull it through this loop so that it now comes through the front, like so. Now, next up, we have a purl and a knit. So we're gonna go through both of these as if to purl this time. Purl, slip off, purl, leave on. The yarn emerges from the front, so dip it through pointing to the back, like so. Knit, then purl. So knit, slip off, knit, leave on. Yarn comes through the front. Purl, then knit. Purl, slip off. Purl, leave on. Yarn goes to the back. You kind of have to get into a rhythm with it. So, like so. It's tricky to remember at first, but as you keep going, I think your muscle memory will figure it out. Knit, knit. Pearl, pearl. So now that I've worked to the end of this half round, you can see what the bind off looks like. So you see it kind of blends really nicely into the stitches below. It's really nice and elastic. And it also snaps back pretty well. It doesn't flare. And also look at the look at the top edge. I love how it kind of like corrugates and goes back and forth with the knits and the pearls. So that's why this is my favorite stitch pattern on which to do interlock is the knit one, knit one pearl one rib. Another rib stitch that interlock looks very good on is the knit two pearl two rib. With this one, you're gonna have four different combinations. You're gonna have knit, 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 pearl, 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 and pearl knit. Whereas when you're doing knit one, pearl one, the only combinations you have are knit, pearl, and pearl knit. This time you also have double knits and double pearls. And each of these combinations is a little bit different. So since I've already demonstrated how to do stockinette, now I'm gonna show you how to do reverse stockinette. So when you're doing reverse stockinette, your combination of the next two stitches is always pearl, pearl. So here's how you would do that. You go through the first stitch as if to purl and slip it off, but the second stitch as if to knit and leave it on. And pull it through from the front. Let me do that a couple more times. First stitch purl wise, second stitch knit wise. Yarn points through the back, so you want it to come through the front. If you look at the fabric, the yarn comes through and then dips back. And so that's just, you know, that's the rhythm we're following. Come uh, purl wise first, then knit wise, and then yarn comes through. So it's pointing to the front and you do this over and over again. So now that I've showed you all four different combinations, knit, 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 purl, purl, knit, and purl, purl, that is what you need to know in order to do a knit two purl two rib with interlock. We'll start with our two knits. So first stitch knit wise, slip off, second stitch purl wise, leave on, and that yarn dips through to the back. Next up, we have a knit and then a purl. So we're gonna go through both of them knit wise. Knit, slip off, knit, leave on. Okay. Next up, we have two purls. So first stitch purl wise, second stitch knit wise. And then next up, we have a purl and then a knit. So here we go through both of them purl wise. And then we repeat that combination. Let's do it again. We have knit, knit. So we are gonna go through first one knit wise, second one purl wise. Knit, 
Next up, knit purl. Knit, knit. Next up, we have purl, purl. So purl and then knit. And then next up, purl knit. So both of them purl wise. Here is what our finished knit two purl two rib looks like. And like the knit one purl one rib, it corrugates nicely if you look at it from the top. And you know, it sort of like recedes and, and comes forward. And it's really, really stretchy. Um, and also matches the German twisted cast on at the bottom. So this is why I love interlock bind off. There's just one other thing I want to show you, which is interlock compared with Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off. Here is one by a knit bun per one rib. And here is knit two purl two rib. Although I am primarily known for this bind off and it is an excellent bind off. It works, you know, it, it's, it, it's hands down the stretchiest bind off worked with knitting needles as opposed to being sewn. And I love that it does corrugate and follow the, the ribs in and out. However, I do think the interlock looks better. It is less bulky. It follows the stitches as opposed to having these um, yarn over loops. This has its own visual appeal, but I like the way interlock just kind of blends into the fabric. So it is the lesser known younger sibling, but I think it is, and it is, and it's harder to do. It's definitely true, it's harder to do. I think that's why it's not as well known, but it is my favorite bind off ever. All right, thank you very much for watching.